calm down quite a bit. Okay, maybe not. As usual, he is. <laughs> Are you happy to see everyone? They're back. <laughs> Finally. Oh man, this pissed off guy. Calm down quite a bit. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> But yeah, we named him Pissy. You didn't know that. <laughs> yeah, but it's very pissy. Yeah, but yeah. What? <laughs> Alright guys, so I've got all my snake. You gotta stock everyone into the car. Hey Pissy. Still pissed as ever, huh? Alright, whatever. <laughs> when will you ever learn to calm down? Oh sorry guys, if you keep hearing the leaf, I'm like crossing here and I keep hitting this thing, so yeah. There's no space in my car. Oh, someone pooped. Gotta go clean that up when we get home. Oh my god. Gosh, it starts to rain. Are you serious? Oh yeah, and my friend gave me this Aspen snake bedding from Zooman because he doesn't use it anymore. So we'll be using this for pissy. Are you freaking serious, man? Gotta get this done quickly. So yeah, that is pretty much it. No more. Oh, okay. Let's get out of here before the thunder decides to attack me. All right, let's go home. How's everyone doing back there? All good? Yeah. Finally, everyone's back home. Well, I mean, not back home yet. We've still got a long way to drive, so let's go. Welcome home, guys. I'll leave them over here for now because it's like really dark out now. I think it's like past midnight, so I'll do a video on them tomorrow. So I'll see you then. All right, Penelope, it's time to get off. What are you doing? Hey, it's time to get off. Video's about to start. Come on, let's go. The snakes are finally back. Like, yes, finally they are home after one month of being at my friend's place while I was in UK. And well, this video is going to show you. Oh, by the way, that is a carrot because Zena, my little puppy German Shepherd. Yeah, we give her carrots to munch on. I mean, look at that. That carrot is gone. Anyways, that's not what this video is about. This video is about the snakes because they are finally home. If you want to see Pissy, you're gonna have to watch till the end. I mean, not till the end, somewhere in the middle. But yeah, if you want to see Pissy, you can't click off this video. You're gonna have to keep watching. I mean, yeah, I mean, you could, you could always skip the video. But come on, guys. All the snakes want to meet you. I mean, the last I filmed them was months ago. But, I mean, they've been away for a month. Yeah, just continue watching the video, okay? Please, just watch the video. I mean, out of all the snakes, you guys want to see Pissy the most, right? But then again, Pissy is probably that one snake out of all the rest that don't want to meet you guys so <laughs> anyway the first one we've got back is my ball python Penelope yep you guys all know her she'll be turning three in April I love this girl this is one of my favorite snakes that I have so yeah I don't want to make this video too long so it's just gonna be like a few second clip of every snake so yeah that's pretty much it for this girl Penelope my female three-year-old almost three-year-old ball python all right Penelope Thank you for taking part in this video. It is time. Oh my gosh, there's ants. Any ants on you? I hope not. All right, let's go back into your enclosure. I think I'm going to be introducing all my snakes again because a lot of you guys are new. Welcome to the channel. A lot of you have been asking, do you keep any other animals besides tarantulas? Because a lot of my videos are tarantulas. But yeah, I do. So this is Monty, my corn snake. He is pretty friendly, but when he gets startled, he can bolt really, really fast. But he's generally really, really docile. He has been eating frozen thawed quails and look at him. He is one healthy corn snake. I had another corn snake, but I sold it off. That one was like, oh gosh, the moment you put it on the ground, he's gone. That corn snake is insane. But look at this guy. He is super chill. I got him when he was a tiny, tiny snake. Like he was really, really malnourished. He was like 10 grams at six months old. Can you imagine a corn snake at six months old? 10 grams. And these guys are eating machines. 10 grams at 6 months old. The previous owner definitely didn't feed him well. Now he is one healthy, healthy snake and I'm super proud of him to what he has become from 10 grams. Alright man, back you go into your enclosure. See you later. Hiya, how you doing? Okay, it's time to show- Dude, it is time to get you on the video. Whoa, can you please chill man, chill. Yo, what's up, pissy? Everyone has been asking for you. Hey, everyone has been asking for you. Like I mentioned, you guys, this... You see, didn't I tell you guys that out of all the snakes, this guy will be the one that doesn't want to meet you guys, although you guys want to meet him, but he doesn't want to meet you. Look at that. Just angry at everyone, aren't you? Are you happy to see everyone? Why aren't you happy to see everyone? Everyone has been asking for you. 
Yo, okay, can you please calm down? <laughs> so, yeah, guys, as usual, he is... <laughs> I'm not actually scared of him, it's just that he, like... Ah, right, there we go. I'm not actually scared of him, it's just that he gives me little jump scares. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, there is our beloved pissy. Yo, are you are you serious? I did not even <laughs> I didn't even touch you man. Can you please calm down and chill chill? Why are you so mad? You still think you're a cobra or something? Everyone's every hey, where are you going? Everyone loves you and you he just hate everyone. I don't understand why. Wait, 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 I've got I've I've got something for you. Here you go. Look at this. Do you want this? Hey, do you want this mouse? By the way, guys. Whoa, 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 whoa. Can you please? This is a frozen thought mouse. Here, eat it. Eat the rodent. Yeah, there we go. Calm down, calm down. As I was saying, this is a frozen thought rodent. I don't feed my snakes live food. I purchased these rodents already dead, so I just toss them in my freezer. These rodents are ethically euthanized, so don't worry about that. YouTube, don't be sensitive and age restrict my video. Uh, calm down. Don't be sensitive and age restrict my videos because this is all part of the hobby. I mean, snakes gotta eat too. Everyone loves pissy. And if you're gonna age restrict this video, no one's gonna be able to see pissy. Snakes like pissy, they have to eat and the safest way to feed them is with dead frozen thought ethically euthanized rodents so yeah that is all I wanted to say so guys you have seen pissy now I'm just gonna let him swallow his little rodent there he goes almost got that rodent down super cute huh super cute super pissed off and before you guys go like hey change pisses enclosure get him a bigger enclosure okay hold up hold up you guys gotta calm down because before I went to the UK I bought pissy this brand new enclosure yep it has sliding doors pretty neat it has a temperature thingy over here thermometer I think I just got brain farted I couldn't even think of the word thermometer but yeah anyways this will be pisses new enclosure but the thing is you can only slide the doors and that's pretty much it you can't lock it so I'm gonna have to try to find a lock and like put it somewhere here so it locks from opening because if pissy decides to push his nose through here like if there's a small gap and he puts his nose through here that is the end he'll probably come out and meet my dog and be pissed off at my dog. So yeah, I'm gonna have to find something that I can lock and then we'll rehouse Pissy into his brand new enclosure which is the perfect size for him. Very, very nice. This enclosure will have him plenty of room to roam around and explore. So now after feeding him a rodent, he is not being pissed off at me anymore. So, oh, wow. I was just about to say that he is now a happy, happy Pissy but apparently not. He is so ungrateful. Like, look at him. He still thinks he's a cobra and he still wants to kill me for some reason. Hey, I fed you. I fed you you a rodent and you're fine okay ungrateful moving on to the next snake this is Rouge, my Honduran milk snake. Sorry I can't take him out because I just fed him yesterday. After snakes eat, it's best to not hold them or even touch them for 48 hours because whatever mouse they ate is still in there and you're gonna give them time to digest. Otherwise, they'll get stressed and regurgitate which pretty much just means they'll vomit out that food and it's nasty, okay? It's nasty. You don't want that to happen. Can you imagine something you swallow and you vomit it back out? Yeah, try smelling that. The next snake that we're gonna see what am I doing? No, it's not the second snake. It's the next snake. And that will be Elvira, my spinner ball python. She has grown since the last video. She is big. Like, look at her. She is thick. But yeah, I mean, she has the spider gene, so her head still wobbles. I mean, look at her. She'll go upside down and stuff. That's what the spider gene does to them. But it doesn't really affect their health. And guys, don't go and comment down in the comments below that, oh, you shouldn't get a spider gene. You shouldn't be supporting breeders that breed these guys. Okay, yes, I know indirectly I am supporting the spider gene breeding thing. I can't stop that. Whoa. <laughs> For a second there, I thought she striked at me, but she has never struck at me before. I don't know why I jumped a little bit. But yeah, it's a very controversial subject, but whatever it is, she's still awesome. But yeah, don't go bashing in the comments just because I've got a spider gene. She is still gorgeous and you gotta admit that. Yeah, Elvira, you gorgeous? You gorgeous, yeah. Look at that eye. Love this girl, although her head is a little bit derpy, but doesn't affect her health though, she eats like a champ. She's an eating machine. This is my fireball python and out of all my ball pythons, all three of them, this is probably the most feisty one. I wouldn't say she's aggressive, she's not aggressive, she's just defensive, she's scared. I mean just look at her, she's hiding her head. I've got to start handling her a bit more so she'll get used to me but yeah, she's very very scared. So I don't want to stress her out too much, I'll just go put her back into her enclosure but yeah, just to show you guys, she's back as well.
I'm not gonna be picking this one up because this is one mean, mean, mean snake. If you watch the unboxing of this guy, you will know that he bit me. It is an Aztec Boa Constrictor BCI, and if I go closer, he'll probably strike my phone. So yeah, not gonna do that. It's all ready to strike, but look at that mustache. And look at that, his body is a little bit fat compared to, yep, because my friend fed him a mouse before I picked him up. So yeah, I'm just gonna be leaving him alone before he gets any other ideas. Definitely gonna need a lot of taming so guys that will be it for this video i know my room is like in a mess but whatever if you liked it be sure to thumbs it up if you didn't you're free to thumbs it down if you're new to this channel be sure to subscribe hit the notification bell so you'll know when i upload in the future there will be one video dedicated to just pissy yeah pissy what's up you good Yep, he's good. There will be one video dedicated to this guy over here But you gotta stay tuned for that video I'm not gonna be doing it now because I got all my snakes back So I just wanted to show you guys each and every one of them also considered an update because you guys haven't seen them for quite a while And by the way this tank just filled it up with water that will be in a future video You're gonna see what I'll put in this It's gonna be one fish and it's gonna be awesome. He'll be part of the exotics lair I went out and bought this filter. It's pretty cool. It has two waterfalls or yeah, whatever you want to call those But yeah, thank you guys again for watching Watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace. And my hand is super bright again. Phone, be consistent. Oh yeah, how could I forget Elvar? What's up, Elvar? Yep, Elvar is doing fine as well and is still derpy, aren't you?